Imagine everything you thought you knew about handguns suddenly changed simply because a butterfly flapped its wings. CZ Shadow 2. This is the first official Just an Opinion channel. Look, I guess that kind of makes it a first hundred. Did my initial review of this gun on Guns America. I'll put a link below if you'd like to go read that initial first review. It's very detailed. I'm not going to be real detailed in this. I'm not going to repeat myself. So this is really, like I say, kind of a, kind of a sort of a take two and a first hundred all at the same time. I'm also trying out a brand new, brand new target from Tactical AR-500 Targets. So, got the Tactical AR-500 Targets ADAP Hostage Target System. Downrange, I'm already loving it. Nice. That does add a nice element of fun. I like it. Man, it's so cold. You know, that first really cold day in November, it was tough. Today is that really first cold day. It's going from like being 70 to being 35. Little bit drastic. So the CZ Shadow is basically the performance version, competition version of the legendary CZ 75 pistol. And basically they just made a sort of an out of the box competition gun out of it. The Shadow 2 is the next version or the next iteration of that. And they basically have improved on a lot of the things that the uh, CZ75 Shadow owners wanted and were doing custom jobs on. One of the big differences I noticed right away that I'm not sure what the driver for it was, was, let me hold it up where you got some contrast here. You can see that, that dog leg in the back, in the back strap, where before the CZ75 and CZ Shadows had that nice gentle curve. So this is definitely a pronounced pivot point, if you will, in this dog leg, and you do feel it in your hand. So I'm, again, I'm not sure if that was something that was in response to a demand um, in the user community of this, this pistol, but uh, it's definitely a big change and possibly a bold change, especially if it wasn't uh, if it wasn't wildly requested. But it does feel pretty good, feels even better with this glove on. Uh, this is an aggressively checkered grip and an aggressively textured grip. The grip panels are aluminum 
They are beautiful and they are very nicely finished. But when I first reviewed this gun, it was July, I think, and it was hot and it hurt to touch this gun. It was so hot. You couldn't keep it cool. Even when I kept it covered in between shooting it, it got so hot it was burning my hand. Well, today is just the opposite. Today is the first really cold day of, of November. Uh, you know, it's like 35 degrees and so it's a bit chilly out here. Aluminum grips are gonna transfer ambient temperature. They're gonna transfer cold, they're gonna transfer heat. All right, I have a little bit more fun. I'm about uh, 12 yards from that steel target that's down range. That is the hostage target from Tactical AR 500 target systems. It's brand new. They sent it to me at my request. Thank you guys, I appreciate that a lot. Okay, so I have repainted the bad guy part of it pink. Um, so I can see it because it's starting to get the paint worn off of it. We'll see how that goes. This gun is super heavy. I believe 46 and a half ounces, if I remember correctly. If that's not right, I'll post that. But it is one heavy pistol. It's so heavy, in fact, it is not legal for IDPA and maybe some other sports. It is legal for USPSA, and that's probably where it's the most popular. But all that weight, and this amazing low slide do make it a dream to handle. It's like recoil? What recoil? Very nice, very, very nice. Let's see if I can hit that thing with one hand. Oops. The, the, the trigger is just incredible, incredible trigger on this gun. All right, let's measure the trigger pull on the CZ Shadow 2. This is a big part of what you pay your money for. Double action. 10 pounds, 12 ounces. Single action. Three pounds, 13 ounces. I did swap out the safety on this gun. It is provided by CZ when you get the pistol, but by default, this safety, this flat safety is installed on both sides. It is ambidextrous out of the box, but I chose to install the optional, but provided thumb safety that actually has a nice thumb shelf to it. Along the way, we lost a little red dot on this side. It literally fell out, so it did look like that, but now we don't have a red dot. But this safety is much better for manipulating, particularly if you want to use this as a match gun. Okay, here are the basic specs. It is, of course, a 9mm pistol. Barrel length is 4.89 inches. The overall length of the pistol is 8.53 inches. A lot of that has to do with this long beaver tail. The weight of the gun, and this is a doozy, the weight of the gun, 46.5 ounces. Makes it illegal for IDPA, which is really a shame. The grips are a beautiful milled aluminum. They are absolutely exquisite works of art. But let me tell you, 
on a hot day in the summer, they get almost impossible to touch. The sights, fiber optic out front, red in this case, you could replace it with any color you like, and Hajo rear, which is a very nice adjustable rear sight that is a blackout, anti-glare, good size notch. Action is double action, single action. The finish of the gun is a black nitride and a poly coat. So there's a poly coat over a black nitride and it gives it an incredibly durable finish but it also gives it an appearance that not too many guns have. Capacity is 17 plus one in the three magazines that are provided. The Just an Opinion Grip Index, 3.462. And the suggested retail price, $12.99. <laughs> so for just $12.99, you could have yourself this beautiful handgun. And let me tell you, there aren't many better ones out there. I'm going to try and man up for a little bit and do it without gloves just so I can feel this incredible trigger. This trigger feels so good. It's not just light and crisp, but it is beautifully polished. It is, of course, a double action, single action, but it is most commonly single action. I'm going to try this little swinger I got. Let's see if I can hit that guy for a bit. <laughs> okay. One for one. Thank you, I'm out of here. It's pretty much a point of aim, point of impact with this gun. It likes a center hold. And this front sight is precise. It is a tiny red fiber optic dot. And it sits between a blacked out notch on the rear. Let's try the top target. Not quite. There we go. A little bit more of a challenge at this distance. This gun is about as accurate as a handgun can be. Yeah, we killed it. We killed it. All right. Finish out on the big guy. Alright, I tell you what, from this same distance, let me just see if I can make a group on paper. I'll let you look at this beautiful gun. Let's see if I can punch some nice holes in it. Tactical AR-500 target system has, this is the ADAP system with the hostage. Um, 
as I showed you for the steel, but one of the things I like about it a lot is that you can put your paper target right in front of it on the same stand, which is awesome. Okay, this is, uh, the ammunition is Herder Select 115 grain ball. Smoky, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Uh, I will confess I'm not at my best today, but that still looks like a decent group at 15 yards. This gun is just absolutely fantastic. There's very little that is not amazing about this pistol. The CZ Shadow 2 really does take what was already, in many people's eyes, the world's best production handgun to the next level. And that is saying something. This gun is fantastic. It's 9mm, of course. Um, and in the 9mm category of guns that I personally have, I'm trying to think which one could be better than this or even as good and it probably right now there's a, there's like three pistols in my mind that could compete for top spot that would be this one of course the shadow 2 the sig sauer p226 single action only legion which is also incredible and the sti hex tactical 2011 might have to do some comparisons might i All right, kids, I think this is gonna be just about it from the range. It is freezing cold out here and I'm not ready yet <laughs> for it to be this cold. My blood is still about as thin as water. So I'm gonna wrap it up. If I think of anything more I need to talk to you about, we'll do that back at the workbench where we can get a really nice close look at this gun and I can talk to you without shivering.